Good evening, y'all. We are February 2nd, day 33, episode 33, February 2nd, episode 33, February 2nd. Listen, uh, today's subject matter is keeping it simple, keep business simple. And for those of you who are in corporate America, uh, what I mean by keeping it simple is understand why you're there. Understand what you want to accomplish when you're there. We've got a scripture that speaks to keeping life very simple. Go ahead. Matthew 22, verse 37 and 38. Jesus replied, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your minds. This is the first and most important commandment. Listen, I'm going to sum it up like this. Yahshua said this. He said, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, all thy strength. And then he said, love your neighbor as yourself. And the challenge is in business, uh, how do you keep things as simple as you need them to be? while still making and generating a profit. And so as you guys will know, we are reading uh, Man in the Mirror, and we're also reading a book by David Green, Hobby Lobby, more than a hobby, taking a $600 startup into a five-plus billion-dollar company. And one of the things that he talks about in the book is keeping things simple. Uh, don't fool yourself. Don't think that computers are going to do everything. Don't think that uh, automating everything. Th that's not that's not what we or what he is trying to come across when he talks about keep it simple. That's not what I'm talking about when I mean keep it simple. What I mean by keep it as simple is understand what you want to get accomplished in life and then pursue that. Now, I'm guilty because I have a lot of different things that I do, and so I constantly fight uh, myself to keep on pace, to keep on schedule, uh, because we do do a lot of things. We do, we do real estate. We have a Christian bookstore. We have a sauce company. But guess what? We are slowly and quickly shortening down our focus list because you can't do everything all the time. You have to uh, fine-tune your pursuits. And guess what? I understand even at this age in business, yes, you can create income. And I'm all about having uh, multiple sources of income. And that's why we do what we do. Nevertheless, you, my friend, have to learn how to keep it simple. Okay? Why? Keep it simple when it comes to your inventory. Create a formula create a system, and then fine-tune that system. How many products are you going to have on hand? How many products are you going to have on the shelf? How many products are you going to have in the warehouse? What is your procedure for shipping, for stocking? Okay? Keep it simple. How much of a supply do you have? One month, two month, one week, three weeks, six months supply. I mean, these are all things that you have to decide in advance. And then obviously we understand that as you move forward, uh, you're going to evolve in your strategy. And I'm not saying, no, don't evolve. What I'm saying is, is understand that to be successful, you must keep things as simple and pure as you can. One of the reasons why Hobby Lobby is consistently profitable is because they keep things as simple as they can. They do not rely on automation as much as you would think a big box retailer would. Okay, 
Uh, they don't rely on computers as much as you would think a big box retailer would. All of us have been in a Hobby Lobby, and you can see how practical they are. Keep things simple. How often do you change out, switch out product? How often do you talk to your customers, not simply sell something to them, but how often do you actually talk to them? Do you understand your customer? I'm going to say it again. Do you understand your customer, not a client, a customer? We are to the point in the bookstore, by the grace of God, where now we are developing customers, people who are coming back uh, to buy product. And we also have people who are our customers who buy our sauce. Not just a client, someone who buys something or shops with you one time. Okay? In different industries, use those terms interchangeably. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and debate that. Understand what it means to have a customer and understand what it means to have someone as a client. Okay? And you define that per industry. All right? I'm always looking for ways to keep things pure. I'm always looking for things that I could simplify in my techniques and strategies. I'm always hunting for the easiest way to serve my customers from a peer place. Okay? I'm looking to get the job done from a pure and simple way. I'm not trying to be so technologically advanced that people can't even come in and actually buy something because they have to have a certain card or they have to have a certain uh, app on the phone. No, that's not what we're talking about. Those things are all fine and dandy if you're trying to be a quote-unquote high-class boutique. But no, I'm in the business of serving my customers and I want them to be as comfortable as they can. All right? And if you're in corporate America, understand these principles. It's not always about being on the cutting edge of something. Because guess what? When you're on the cutting edge, you do have issues. And I'm not saying don't be on the cutting edge. What I'm saying is understand what it means to keep things simple. All right? I was in the phone store the other day. And guess what? Their computer systems were down. They couldn't even take a payment from me. I had to drive across town and pay my bill in another store across town which ultimately made me late to get back to the office. And so guess what? Yes, technology is all great. But when it stops you from doing business, you have to rethink how you do business. I'm going to end with this. Remember, business is all about taking risks. When you get a job, you're taking a risk that this person or this business or this industry is going to be here for the next three, five, seven years so you can take care of your family. So understand that in business, in life, in your career path, it's all about taking risks. Your responsibility is to do what? Take the best calculated risk that you can, which means as you are on the job, as you are in the industry, as you are performing, whether it be as an entrepreneur or as an individual in corporate America, that you are always calculating what is going on around you so you can protect your best interest, your family's best interests, and your life, dreams, goals, and ambitions. Life is about taking risks, all right? The moment you leave your house, you're taking a risk.
keep it simple. This your man, Earl. God bless you. Good night.